Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today joined by Michael Geiger here at a pretty difficult little spot here, Michael, because, well, today's about flop shots. And today we have a very, you know, a situation that you're in where a flop shot is absolutely required. Right. So very fun, but also a very tricky shot that I think a lot of golfers face, but they don't always quite know exactly the steps on how to execute that shot. So um, Michael, the flop shot, I mean, it, you don't have a ton of them in a round, but they can be really important to saving a score. They're huge, obviously, they usually come up when you short side yourself. Maybe you, you kind of double cross one mm -hmm. and they can really make the difference in a round. Um, you know, a clutch par from here is the kind of thing that can really build some momentum. So, um, yeah, these are key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So walk me through this one. We've got a big bunker in front of you and then we've got this pin that we've this we're targeting here is right kind of on the front of the green. Yep. So and it's also kind of running away from you. The green is a little bit. So you always have to get the ball up in the air and stop it relatively quickly. So Talk to me about how you're going to do that here. Sure. So, I mean, basic three-step process. Uh, you pretty much align like you would any any typical chip shot. And then you start by opening your body. Mm -hmm. And then you open the face. And then really the key is, I like to keep my hands a bit low. The, the key really is when you release it, because you're going to want to release it hard at the bottom, the key is not to let the wrists turn over and yeah. let that club close at all. You're going to want to keep that left, the back of that left hand pointed high. Mm -hmm through the entire swing you're not going to want any closure yeah um, because that's just gonna that's just gonna send it shooting so we'll just open the body open the face put those hands low and just release the heck out of it oh look at that oh see and then like this scenario and on an actual round you're probably you know you're trying to grind for a score or something and you're faced with this at first, it could be pretty discouraging, probably. Uh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and then you, if well, if you can pull off a shot like this, it's not so discouraging anymore. Oh, lofted high, and I come. It's almost kind of like you're using the bounce a little bit too, because you like you're still like, you know, you're not picking the ball clean. You're yep. kind of using a, a thud on the ground to sort of launch that ball into the sky. So definitely, you're you're, you're still using the bounce. I'm not trying to take a, a huge divot. I mean, it's thick grass, so there's, yeah. there's, there's going to be a little bit, but use the bounces. I mean, yeah. the bounce is your friend. Yeah, you're not like going shallow at it either. You're still kind of steep. Sure. You know, you're, you're to me, at least what I'm seeing, it's not yeah. like, you know, you're taking some chunks. So it's not like you're just trying to go way low at the hands and just pick it clean. Yeah, if you're going for the, the, the super lob, you maybe would do that. But here you can be, you know, pretty standard, just, just open, open. Oh yeah, see, and then and that one even too, a little bit out to the right, but you still have a very good look at your par save, yeah. which is ultimately the goal when you're in a troubled scenario like this. So you want to hit a couple? Yeah, I do want to try. See if I can repeat it. So we'll give myself the greatest lie, try to knock it down a little bit. But so if I recall, you were kind of like, and I typically open my stance anyway for chips, which is maybe good or bad. Um, a PGA pro might laugh at me if we were doing a lesson, but. So, but then you also said you open the club face all the way, not all the way, but you open it and your body, right? And the key is, I, one thing I do is I open it, I open it and then I regrip it. Oh, okay. So I don't, I don't just twist my right, hands. I right. just, almost like so a bunker kinda, shot. You just let it. Okay. I so you're that. gripping so it neutrally. It. Yep. So my, I'm open, body open. Okay. Then you wanted to make sure with the release, right? That this kind of the top of the hand keep stays that, to the sky. You're not, you're not open. turning it over. Yep. Okay. And finish high. Just like that. There you go. I can make that putt. So open the body, open the stance. Remember, you like to open the face and then grip it. Yep. Perfect. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that one. I like There's that your one. par. I like that one. So this is for the golfers out there that might struggle in those scenarios where they you know, need to carry the ball a long ways and stop it. Um, I think this is kind of an easy, you know, a few steps that you can take to save those, save those shots, save those pars, maybe bogeys, and keep your handicap going down. That's kind of what we like to see, right? Absolutely. So, um, thank you all for watching. Michael, thank you for the explanation. Um, and golfers, make sure you take this to the course and do it for yourself.